Hi, I'm David Peterson. The second edition of the Mouse Guard role-playing game has been released, and I wanted to go over what the products are to uh, help alleviate some confusion. Because uh, there are two distinct products in the line. Now, for starters, some of you might not know what role -play a role-playing game is. Role-playing is theater of the mind. It's a tabletop um, pen and paper role-playing system where you and your friends sit around a table, roll dice, and collectively tell a story. Um, it's a way to pretend and, and get to be a part of the Mouse Guard world uh, in your own home. This is a hardcover of all the rules that you need to play the game. Everything you need is in this book. It has rules for how to create characters, how to resolve conflicts, um, all the rules, all the mechanics, and the second edition has been updated from the first by Luke Crane with uh, a more improved way of explaining the rules as well as um, updating some of the rules so that they, they work a bit better. The other item is the box set. Now, this has more than you have to have to play, but all of the components are really helpful. It comes with a soft cover edition of the rule book, same book as the hard cover, but it comes with a lot of other stuff. It comes with cards. There are three types of cards in a deck. The first are weapon cards. These tell you what weapon your mouse is holding. You can equip them by just placing the card in front of your character and all the statistics and special rules are listed on the on the weapon card. If for any reason your mouse loses an item or needs to re-equip and get something else, you just place that card in front of you or remove it as needed. The condition cards explain what's going on with your mouse in terms of injuries or effects like being sick or hungry and thirsty or angry, etc. There are statistics on the card for what it takes to overcome these conditions and what the effect of the condition is on your character. Instead of having to write and erase this time after time, you just place the card in front of your character sheet or remove it as needed. The last kind of card is the actions card. Now these cards have a back on them that make your moves uh, discreet and undiscernible by the other players or the game master. So you can plan out what you're going to do. The combat system allows you to plan out what you're going to do if you're going to attack or maneuver or feint or defend. And all the statistics for how those cards or those actions interact with one another is listed on the card. The box set comes with four decks of cards, so that's enough for four players. The box set also comes With dice. The dice have three distinct symbols on them that help determine a failure from a success from an uber success. And these help you calculate your successes and failures much more quickly. Um, you can use standard dice. The system is built so that you can use regular six-sided dice from any of your board games, Monopoly or any of those. Um, but you have to pay a little bit more attention to what's a success and what's a failure. And with these dice, that's all done for you. The box set also comes with goodies, like a supplement book that has additional characters, additional sample missions, and some additional optional rules if you wish to play with those. There's a Game Master screen. This screen allows your players to have something pretty to look at while the Game Master gets to keep all of what they're doing secret behind this so that story elements are a surprise. And the back side of it has all kinds of statistics for the Game Master to use. Page references and um, statistics so that they don't have to keep flipping open the book every time they need to uh, make reference to something. There's a map of the territories for those not as well versed with the Mouse Guard landscape. And the box set comes with character sheets and game master sheets that are in a tear-off pad so that you and your friends can make lots of characters and play lots of adventures over and over. I hope you enjoy 
getting to pretend to be mice in uh, my fictional world of mice with swords. Um, Luke and I really want to thank the fans for um, having so much faith in the Mouse Guard role-playing system and, and wanting it back to come into a second edition. Thank you.